More than 800 acres and at least three buildings have been destroyed as a wildfire rips through Rochera County. Wisconsin DNR says the pallet fire is now under control, but the cleanup's going to take a while. Seth Humanick shows us how firefighters and people who live in the village of Coloma stepped up to help. Crews from dozens of local fire departments were hard at work battling the pallet fire in Washera County. The flames get right to the top of the tree and uh, in the wind it just takes them right across the top of the tops of the tree burns them out. The Wisconsin DNR says the fire was 99 percent contained Tuesday morning. The DNR said more than 830 acres were burned and three homes were destroyed. About 100 homes were forced to be evacuated between the townships of Richford and Coloma. Most of those people have returned home. When the pager goes off, we're here. The Coloma Fire Department's Assistant Chief Eric Johnston says he's been working straight through since the call first came in yesterday afternoon. These are our people. We, uh, we didn't want to leave them and we wanted to make sure they were okay through the night and they were. While the fire raged on and firefighters were hard at work, people like Steve Schneider began bringing food and drinks to the Coloma Fire Station. We're very grateful to the fire department, all the volunteers. Schneider says he has a cabin off Route 21 that narrowly avoided destruction. They truly are a band of brothers. They get together whenever they're needed, they just go. Drop of a hat, no questions asked. Johnson says his department couldn't have done it without the community support. We've had a spread of food here. From our business, from local businesses that have been just insane. Without a small community coming together like that, this wouldn't happen. You know, it's it's been just amazing for the support we've received. The DNR says the fire was caused by someone burning debris and was fueled by dry weather and high winds. The DNR recommends people don't burn debris while the dry conditions continue. In Coloma, Seth Humanick, NBC 20.